Hey guys, Ken Perry with the Knowledge Coop with a quick update for you. Figured we would walk near some new construction. Uh, this is actually on my street. It's been a crazy time. A lot of houses are being built. Builders are going crazy. Still plenty of buyers out there on the market. It's been a really nice time. Uh, I thought I'd talk to you a little bit about discrimination because as you know, we spend a lot of time looking at fair lending and discrimination because the CFPB looks at discrimination quite a bit. And this week I thought I'd let you know there is a company that just is being looked at right now uh, and it turns out personal discrimination or the ex having experienced discrimination uh, within this company happened in 24.5% of the Asian uh, employees, 26.8% of the African American employees, 15.7% of the Hispanic employees, and 12.4% of the white employees uh, have felt discrimination. Along with 24.8% of women and 10.5% of men, this group I'm talking about is actually the CFPB. So uh, the GAO, Government Accountability Office, just did a study and found that there's a lot of discrimination going on internally at the CFPB as well as uh, there seems to be a backlash against complaints. In fact, 27% of the people polled uh, anonymously, of course, at the CFPB said they don't feel comfortable uh, reporting a complaint. They don't feel like it would actually uh, go somewhere without backlash or without them getting in trouble for it. So kind of interesting that's happening actually at the CFPB. Uh, so that's another interesting thing. So you've got crazy, uh, lots of buildings still. You've got some issues over at the CFPB. And then finally, one other group is taking the CFPB to court and uh, appealing one of their uh, findings, and that is the private uh, school industry. So um, it really is just kind of a, a going after the CFPB time right now. Expect that to continue. Also expect a lot around the HUD DOJ findings because the Department of Justice is using the Fair Claim, False Claims Act to go after just about everybody right now. So uh, watch for that and just understand when you see somebody who is fighting the False Claims Act allegations, uh, just know that it typically is around uh, work that they did in 2009, which was, by the way, the most loans that were done on the FHA program ever. So HUD and the DOJ are looking back to the busiest time ever to find out how the industry performed in those busy times. The one big thing they're finding is that productivity and production is put uh, above compliance and, and getting it right. So uh, one takeaway for you is make sure that when you guys are doing FHA loans, you are just nails on those things that they are, uh, you're paying attention to uh, with the quality of them, not pushing underwriters, uh, and making sure that you always focus on that quality uh, and as well as uh, training. Um, so I guess that's another last, last thing. Make sure you've got training for your underwriters because they're finding that a lot of underwriters aren't receiving training. You need any help? Get in the coop. Give us a call. We'll see you guys later.